Hi. We are so looking forward to spending time with you this weekend as part of our interview process. We're sad that we can't meet in person, but we do appreciate your flexibility in meeting with us virtually. If we had been able to host you on campus, we would have been able to go over our program, review some of our campus, as well as make formal introductions to the faculty and students. But given that we can't meet in person, I've put together this video to give you some highlights of what we have to offer you. First, I'd like to start by introducing the faculty. I am Dr. Maria Valdivinos. I am the program director of the master's program at Drake University. Something about me is that I have very specific research interests as it pertains to the use of psychotropic medication on aggressive and self-injurious behavior in both children and adults with intellectual and developmental disabilities. Also part of our program faculty is Dr. Janelle Ossenhus. She received her PhD at the University of Nebraska Medical Center and her research interests really focus on staff training and in evaluating and improving early intensive behavioral intervention services. Also on our faculty is Dr. Marcella Hangen, who received her PhD from the University of Kansas. Her research interests are focused on the assessment and treatment of severe problem behavior, token reinforcement, and skill acquisition. We also have our program support, Pamela Moore. Our program does not function without Pam. And as prospective students here in our program, you will get to know Pamela quite well, as I'm sure the graduate students that you'll speak with can attest to. She's very valuable in helping coordinate the practicum experiences for our students. Olin Hall is where the ABA program is housed. Faculty have offices there as well as a graduate student office. And most of your comings and goings and classes will be in Olin Hall. However, we do also have classes that are held in Collier Scripps, and it is the building in this image on the left. Practicum classes uh, sometimes meet in this building, as well as small group supervision. Now, Drake's ABA program is really geared to prepare students for a career in behavior analysis. And behavior analysis uh, is applicable across a range of populations and in a variety of settings. And so to that end, we prepare students to sit for the BACB exam through the practicum experiences we coordinate, the competency system that we have to evaluate your skills, and the capstone. So our course, our program rather, offers courses and practicum designed to meet the requirements for becoming a board certified behavior analyst. But as part of that, our program, we also have competencies and a capstone that needs to be passed. Those competencies and capstone integrate what is being learned in courses as well as with the practicum. So the program goals that we have is that our students acquire professional competence in ABA. And to that end, students get the opportunity and experience in treating challenging behavior, teaching skills or in the area of skill acquisition. Our students also learn how to train others to implement behavior analytic programs and how to work with others to increase compliance with the interventions and recommendations we provide. And so our program does help you acquire professional skills to help you succeed. So as a part of your training, when you complete our program, you are eligible to sit for the BACB exam. Our courses are a verified course sequence, so you completed the required coursework for that exam. And we also coordinate and supervise practica experiences. And so through those practica experiences, you get hands-on opportunities to work with BCBAs and faculty at clinical sites, 
We also do, as you saw earlier, with our research interests, provide opportunities for students to participate in the research process. And we also encourage our students to attend professional conferences and present at these conferences. So the master's program is 45 credit hours, which breaks down into nine credits each semester, which is considered full-time for graduate students. This includes coursework and practicum, and the program stems across five semesters. We use a cohort model, so students start together in the fall semester, and they attend the program fall, spring, summer, fall, and then graduate after the final spring semester. We also offer a certificate program that's 36 credit hours. In the first year, students take nine credits each semester along with the cohort that they entered in with. And then from after that first year, the number of hours that are needed to complete the program drop to six and then three credits in the final semester. The required courses, there are seven and they're listed here. They're offered in a sequence so that they must be taken in order. We also offer elective courses to complete the master's degree. Some of these courses are listed here as well. The university offers practicum experience. In total, 1,500 hours of practicum experiences must be accumulated in order to sit for the certification exam. This comes out to about 22 hours per week spent at practicum, and 10% of those hours must be supervised by a BAC, BCBA. We faculty provide individual supervision as well as weekly small group supervision. In addition to the time spent at practicum sites, we also offer practicum course in which you have the opportunity to develop and enhance and refine your clinical skills. ABA program places students at practicum sites. So you, once you enter our program, we place you at practicum sites and we try to match you as best we can with your future career goals. The supervision is provided by Drake faculty and by community BCBAs if you are placed with a community partner. All students also have the opportunity to rotate across at least two practicum sites. And we do work with students who are currently employed at places where behavior analytics services are provided to coordinate practicum through their place of work. The activities our students undertake include things such as conducting assessments related to the need for behavioral intervention, be that challenging behavior or skill acquisition, designing and implementing and monitoring skill acquisition and behavior reduction programs, overseeing the implementation of programs, and training behavior analytic skills to others. This is one setting where we have two opportunities for practicum placement. At Blank Children's Developmental Clinic, we offer a severe behavior disorders clinic, as well as an early intensive behavior intervention clinic. The severe behavior disorders clinic is overseen by Dr. Hangen, and the early intensive behavior intervention clinic is overseen by Dr. Ossenhus. We have also placed students at Mosaic. Mosaic provides residential services to adults with intellectual and developmental disabilities. We also have our community partners that provide ABA services to children with autism spectrum disorders. These clinics have their own BCBAs and in partnership with Drake faculty, students are supervised by the BCBAs at these clinics. We have placed students and supervised students working in Des Moines Public Schools as well as other school districts. And we have placed students with Heartland AEA and in Working with Heartland AEA, they get to work alongside board certified behavior analysts who are members of the Challenging Behaviors Treatment Team. So, as I mentioned earlier, as a part of our program, 
students are required to demonstrate competencies to ensure that you can perform behavior analytic skills when you graduate from our program. These competencies are based in discussion, demonstration of clinical skills, demonstration of assessment and programming skills, uh, demonstration of training others, as well as knowledge and awareness of verbal behavior. Once you graduate or once you get close to graduating, the graduate requirements are completion of courses, completion of practicum experience, completion of your competencies, and then a comprehensive exam is completed at the final semester to assess your gained knowledge. Iowa indeed has a great need for behavior analysts in the state. It's estimated that there are 22,500 Iowan children with significant behavior challenges, but less than one-third are receiving empirically-based intervention. To meet the demands within the state, the Department of Public Health offers behavior analyst training grants. Samra Hiros is the individual who manages these grants and so if you have any specific questions regarding this opportunity, I would direct you to either call her or email her at the address listed here. The criteria for the awards, however, are that the individual has been accepted for admission or is currently enrolled or attending an accredited BCBA, BCABA educational program. Individuals must also demonstrate financial need and if you are an Iowan resident, you have to provide proof of Iowa residency status. Contingent on gain, gain, getting sorry, the award, uh, students have to agree to practice in the state of Iowa for two years full-time or four, year, four years part-time after completion of the program. Upon certification, Awardees must also assist in supervising an individual towards their BCBA or BCABA or consult with schools and service providers that provide services and supports to individuals with autism in the state of Iowa. The application materials will include, for those who are non-residents, copies of a FAFSA student aid report, the Iowa College Student Aid Commission Financial Verification Release Form. Students must also prepare a project plan of study, that is, that provides a timeline of the coursework and certification plans when they anticipate taking the certification exam and the estimated cost of tuition and fees for program completion. The Drake ABA Master's Program works with students to gain these materials. Additionally, there is an application narrative or short answer questions um, where you discuss your commitment to an experience in behavior analysis. I know this has been quite a bit of information and I apologize for stumbling through some of it. Um, please feel free to come with any questions that you may have based on the information provided here. And again, we very much look forward to meeting you this weekend. Have a wonderful day.